I would be interested, yes, because you've been studying uh, aging and but. So, what is your your personal protocol look like? Uh, c- could you talk a little bit about the supplements you take, the exercise, your dietary interventions? People always assume, well, what's the magic pill? And they're surprised when I say, if you look, I, I, I think stati- statistically, you know, I, I don't know the biochemistry as well as a lot of people know it. So I just look at the statistics. If you look at the, what is most highly correlated with longevity, it's having love in your life, having mm. a loving family, being close to people having people that care that you show up from day to day, having good relationships with your adult children, being a leader in your community. If you put all these things together, being socially connected and having positive social relations is good for more years of lifespan than any supplement that we know. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. And, and, you know, those are the same thing that lead to a richer uh, more alive existence right now. So it's, it's a nice synergy that doing what is most rewarding, most connected, most uh, fulfilling for you in your social environment is also what's going to help you to live the longest. That's, I, I, I like to know that. Uh, so what else do I do? In the supplement department, I think the most, the best evidence we have right now is for rapamycin. Mm -hmm. Rapamycin uh, consistently extends lives of mammals and it also affects their methylation age. And that's, that's nice to know. And it works when you, when you introduce it late in life. So I take rapamycin for eight weeks a year. I take a, I take it, I take a large dose on weekends and then none five days a week. And I do that eight days, eight weeks a year. And this is just a guess because rapamycin is, has been used intermittently in the mice. And there's some indication that, um, there are two, two different signals. One is a short-term, one is a long-term. And by pulsing the rapamycin, you do better than if you take a, a steady dose. So I've got my own schedule, that, but it's not validated in any way. We don't know whether or how rapamycin extends lifespan in uh, humans. But as supplements go, it's probably our most promising. A lot of people are afraid of rapamycin it's not safe, it's gonna suppress your immune system, you're gonna get sick. I've seen none of that. And of hundreds of people who read my blog and get in touch with Dr. Alan Green in New York, who's um, prescribing rapamycin to people and watching how they do, uh, we haven't seen problems develop uh, with rapamycin uh, making the immune system stand down so that you're more likely to get infected. It's, it's something we're watching. So I don't think rapamycin is dangerous, although there's certainly a literature that suggests it might be, and I, I've got a counsel caution. Um, I'm, on a, I'm a vegetarian for reasons that, have, that go, go way back to before I, was, uh, I knew anything about longevity. There is some indication that a vegetarian diet is good for longevity. There's also indication that, at least for some people, a low carb diet, low carb meaning um, low glycemic index, so that you're not stimulate, overstimulating insulin. And that's harder to do with a vegetarian diet. So I have a low carb vegetarian diet. Mm -hmm. I don't eat grains. I don't eat. um, Yeah, I I, I stay away from grains and I stay away from sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's how I try to to stay relatively low carb within a vegetarian diet. I do yoga. I do meditation. 
you know, one little piece of my life is that I've been a yoga teacher since 1977, one, one hour a week. Mm. It means a lot to me. It's um, how I feel a connection mm. to, my, to my body. Really, before that, when I was a physics student, I didn't even think I had a body. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on in my body. And it was such a gift to me to develop the sensitivity to what's going on in me that I got from my yoga classes that I decided to give that back to the community. So I, I teach yoga and meditation, mm -hmm. at least before COVID. I had been teaching for 45 right. years. Oh. Um, and the best kind of exercise, I think, besides the yoga exercises is um, interval training. Mm -hmm. where you just work your hardest for a minute or two minutes until you pant and you just feel like, like <laughs> I can't do this anymore. And the same thing with strength, strength training. You, you lift the maximum amount of weight or you do push-ups until your arms give out. Um, mm -hmm. Pushing to the limit rather than doing many repetitions seems to be an efficient way to, uh, to exercise. And there's some indication that this is the best for longevity, but we don't know. We, we don't have data on how long people live. You can't do controlled experiments. And if you could, it would take, as I say, it would take decades before you got the results. So we're just guessing. And I want to um, refer people to agingadvice.org. Agingadvice, one word, mm -hmm. .org which is um, my suggestions and my program. It's really just what I do uh, with some references and uh, oh, excellent. Some, some links in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely link to that. Um, so where else on the internet can people find out about you? Um, is the, the Data Beta project? And Data Beta is... Uh, D-A-T-A-B-E-T-A dot I-O, databeta dot I-O. And you'll see there's a sample questionnaire there. It's, it's a dummy questionnaire. We're still getting feedback on it until we finalize the questionnaire. There's, um, there are research papers that outline the basis, the theoretical basis for this study. Mm. And uh, there's a little of my history and our collaborators and staff. They're all, they're all on there. And uh, there's a place where you can email me and I'll put your name on a waiting list. Um, I have a blog. Mm -hmm. It's agingmattersblog.org. Mm -hmm. Agingmattersblog.org. And it's also, uh, it's hosted by Science Blog. Dot com so you can get there through science blog and I, I've been doing this for nine years so there's nine years worth of topics covered in uh, the theory and also the practice of anti-aging excellent thank you and then you you said you you have a couple of books that people can yeah read. my popular book is called cracking the aging code Mm -hmm. And it's written in conjunction with um, Carl Sagan's son, Dorian. We wrote it together. And it's meant to be entertaining and, and also radical. It, it puts forth my radical theory of how evolution works and leads up to what are the implications for mm -hmm. anti-aging practice. And then, and then the last chapter goes, well, you know, what, what would happen if everybody does this? And it's not, a, not necessarily a, a pretty picture. Uh, there's already overpopulation in the world. We certainly can't have people living twice as long as we're living now if we're using resources and dumping our waste the way that we do. So mm -hmm. you've got to be a, a conservationist mm -hmm. if you believe in a life extension for the individual, you have to believe in cooperation to live in harmony with our environment uh, if there are going to be more of us around and we're going to be living longer. 
So it, it, mm. it goes all the way to that in the, in the very last chapter. Excellent. Thank you. So we'll, we'll put all those links in the description. So uh, Dr. Mitteldorf, uh, so thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, that was very educational. <laughs> very helpful. <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, but yeah. very, but you didn't use the word polemical, but uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I, I get over enthusiastic. I, I, you know, I hope people will forgive that. And everything I know is tentative. And if what I'm saying is wrong, please tell me. I, I don't want to embarrass myself by being polemical any longer than I have to. Right. So, I, I mean, that's the thing I think about aging is we don't know and there's you know there's evidence right that there's evidence it's just how much of the evidence is there and i think you know the program theory of aging and the way you talk about it is is you know has a lot of uh, evidence behind it that makes it, that, that it makes sense i'm happy to have you on and to explain it in much better than that than anyone else yes well thanks for giving me this uh forum and this audience and i i look forward to connecting with your listeners. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Middledorf. I will hopefully talk to you again. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.